to do my baby booze and welcome back to my channel for another episode of let's play the sims 4 zombie apocalypse As you can see, Emma is the first one awake at 5.23 p.m. Or a.m., sorry. Whoops. And you know what? I kind of want to have her make breakfast for everybody else. She has been feeling like she needs to, to do something. Like, Lord, she really wants to get moving. She says, need outside. From outdoorsy lifestyle, it's been too long since Emma has done anything outside. And she really needs to fix that. She really wants to get back on the road and get to the CDC. She's getting a little bit antsy. Like, she loves to the safety for a little while and uh, you know it's been a little too long she's getting antsy she really wants to just like move on to the next phase of the road trip I'm gonna have her go ahead and make some breakfast what should we make I want to serve breakfast oh wow she doesn't have much of a cooking skill so this is gonna be really hard for her boiled eggs fruit salad fruit salad is very easy and safe and you won't set the house on fire fire but dang okay why don't we just go ahead and do some fruit and yogurt parfait i feel like that is you know a little fancier than just you know some fruit smushed together but you know also they don't have too much at their disposal it is the apocalypse so everything they have they have foraged for so anything fruity i i think sounds pretty good she's like oh i just i can't be here anymore i need to start on the road again on the road again i can't wait to get on the road again also if you can see, Anna has had a little bit of a growth spurt. I went into create a sim and I actually just made her a little bit taller. She's been a child for a little while and um, and she was already a preteen when I started the series. Granted, it's only like, what, like episode seven or something. I don't know what episode this is, but I feel like, you know, she's starting to grow up a little bit. Not quite a teenager, more like a preteen right now. So yeah, looks like breakfast is already done. So I'm gonna have people start waking up. It is 6.30 a.m. You know, it's time to kind of get the day all ready. We're going to have Archer get up. His energy is okay. So yeah, he'll come down and grab some breakfast too. Everyone is pretty dang hungry. I already know that. Grab a serving. And can we eat at the actual dining table? They're going to want to eat in the kitchen, I guess, because it's just the closest thing. Coda, what do you need? Do you need to go outside? He needs to potty. Coda, just go outside yourself and do it. Here. Go here. Anna, let's wake you up. I know her energy was kind of bad though. Well, it's pretty good now. So is there, there is, there's a toilet in the tree house. It's a bucket really, but go ahead and use that. And Coda, go pee pee and go potty. Uh, thank you. I appreciate it. And actually after that, I know it's raining, but could you, I mean, it is safe. So we could have you go hunt by yourself and you will be fine because no zombies are in this zone. Thank you. Thank you for that. That is just... Thank you. Get out of the sleeping bag and go get some food. Grab a serving afterwards. I know you are uncomfortable. Oh, geez, her feet. Oh, she just went straight for the food. She's like, nah, I can hold it. <laughs> I'm so hungry. All right. And then Gia, why are you naked? Oh, wait, no. Archer's coming up. <laughs> no, Archer. <laughs> get your food. What are you doing? Did you already eat? Who the hell? Wait, who is this lady? <laughs> Archer. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna be like, who the hell are you? Hook up with Barbara. Hell no. Actually, you know what? He's gonna be a little rude. He's gonna give her a rude introduction. Who are you and why are you in this house? You know? He's like, who the hell are you? And she's like, um, excuse me. Adrian said I needed to be here. He's like, who is Adrian? <laughs> like, you crazy lady. You're so crazy. Who is Adrian? Okay, wait. We need to friendly. Why is he still moving so much? Wait, not friendly. <laughs> what am I doing? Mean. We're going to tell her to go away he's like i got family here you need to leave she's like well adrian told me to be here but you know i guess i can just go who the hell is adrian why do you keep saying that name wait hold on a second Emma is, where's the baby? And where's Kat? Kat's not even in my, what happened? Hello? And you're just like taking this and just like going into her bed. Like you need to tell somebody. Like I tried to go get Kat for breakfast. And, oh my God. This old lady's still here. She's like, Adrian. <laughs> 
Okay, Archer, you need to kick her out. Like, for real. You need to uh, be mean. Order Barbara to clean. We're gonna yell at her. Like, get out of my house. I have family here. My daughter is here. What are you doing? Stop dancing. Stop it. Get out of the house. Emma's like, don't make me shoot you. For real, I'm just gonna make her go away. Because, <laughs> like, it's not working. You're making Emma uncomfortable, okay? Emma is very secure in her body. But, like, still, you don't want, like, another woman walking around naked in front of, like, the person you like, you know? So. So we're gonna go get dressed. I don't know why you're naked in the first place. There is a chill. There is a children. <laughs> I don't know. There is a child around. She's like, can't I just stay? Adrian told me to. He's like, I don't know who this Adrian person is you're referring to. I really don't. But you need to go. I'm not gonna fight you. You're an old lady. You're like a little old lady. But I need you to go away. So is there like a thing? Just go away. Just leave. Yeah. You need to leave. Stop talking and go. She is crazy. Like, she's just spouting nonsense. Okay, Emma, you need to go ahead and tell Archer what you found. And that is nothing. There is... <laughs> There's no child in the crib and Kat is not anywhere in the house. She checked upstairs. She checked in the bathrooms. She's nowhere to be found. So we're going to go ahead and be friendly. Okay. We're going to give fake bad news, but it's actually real bad news. <laughs> okay. And she's going to say, I can't find the baby or cat anywhere. And he's like, what's going on? No, this radio is way too loud. <laughs> All right. So I'm just going to turn it, turn off. Yes. Turn it off. What the f don't argue with me, Emma. She's like, I looked everywhere. I was trying to get them for breakfast breakfast but I can't find them and he's like oh no and it's raining like this is the terrible the most terrible look at her <laughs> this is the most terrible situation we can't find cat or the baby like what happened what happened so now he's thinking okay well now I need to go out and Emma's like I'll go with you he's like I gotta go find them she's like I take me with you I really need to go outside like I need to move you know what i mean okay gia i'll have you put this away go ahead and put away and uh gia can take care of the cow and everything but archer and emma i think we're gonna go back through into the deep woods where the zombies reside and we're gonna go look because even with all of our problems with Kat, we don't want her to get seriously injured and we don't want to put Jupiter at risk, you know? Jupiter's just a child and I don't think she left armed. We need to check for our guns. Are all of our guns here? Wait, hold on. Okay, let me check hers. Oh, there it is. Okay, wait, I have a shotgun. Where's my pistol? I should have had a pistol. I don't seem to see it though does archer have a pistol or a shotgun anything that will help us we have oh we have an assault rifle that should be pretty um persuasive we also have a shotgun do we have a pistol maybe i'm just not seeing it my microphone is in the way of the inventory so i'm like trying to make it so you can still hear me oh there's the sh there's there's the pistol okay well it looks like cat may have taken her pistol so that's not good <laughs> it definitely shows me though that she left on her own accord but we don't want anything to happen to them maybe we can like try and talk to them and like talk them back into coming back we'll talk cat back into coming back you know so she's like i'll go with you we can have this search party just you and me you know we need some alone time anyway and he's like well yeah but we're not doing anything bad we're like we're searching for a friend she's like whatever you say <laughs> She's so flirty. Okay, so I'm gonna have them go up here and... Oh, jeez. Lord. Lord Jesus. <laughs> We're gonna go over here and change into some kind of hiking gear again. I mean, since there will be zombies, we know of this for sure. And we want to be prepared. Maybe I can have her go out in this like ninja looking number. <laughs> and then I'll have him come up here and change too. And I'm gonna have him dress in this little number. Put their little camos on. This is gonna be one heck of an afternoon, you know? No. Well, morning still, actually. We got up pretty early, so that's good. Oh, newbie. Ooh, newbie. <laughs> Look at us. What a power couple. Okay. We're going to go uh, over, back over to the, whatchamacallit, the hole we came from. <laughs> go back to the hole you came from. Sounds like such like an insult. Okay. Can we return to Granite Falls Forest with Emma. We're gonna see what we can do. She just keeps taking her clothes off. She is such a free spirit. I can see why her husband loved her so much. <laughs> Where's Emma? What? She's using the... She's gonna go use the toilet. Dude, I can't just... Ugh. 
my god okay hold on a second hold on a second don't leave yet she's got to use the bathroom all right y'all can go afterwards i want them together i don't want him to just go like right in front of her okay well i guess i'll meet she'll meet him at the forest he's gonna go ahead first i don't know why she needs to take care of something so he's gonna go without her for now for now she's coming with though how much ammo do we have <laughs> I didn't even check. We definitely have our guns, but I hope we have some amu ammunition. You know, I, I know they've been having their issues and so he's not like terribly surprised by it she's always been a little reckless and kind of does things without talking it over with people it just didn't make sense so he really wants some answers he wants her if she does wish to break away from the group to at least explain why you know he's he's worried he's worried about jupiter more than anything else he watched her give birth to that child you know so anyways let's go back to the forest with archer yes I know, it's gonna get dangerous from here. All right, let's go. Okay, so we both spawned over at the whole thing and we're gonna be hiking around. I wish we could hike, could we hike together? I guess we'll hike a little bit. So they're gonna start walking. Oh my God, that looked really far. But um, we're gonna start walking over to the creek, see if maybe we can find her. Maybe she's still in the woods to get, you know, I don't know. Hopefully there's no zombies that'll kill us. I really wanna turn the rain down a little bit because I'm sure it's gonna be hard to hear me over the rain. So we could just do some light rain. I think that would help a little bit. Oh my god, the thunder! Okay, and last time we were out here, we saw zombies, so I'm just trying to be prepared right now. <laughs> Maybe we could collect some stuff along the way, or, you know, forage. Yeah, go ahead and forage. He's gonna stop and forage too. <laughs> you know, we may as well while we're here. It seems like the rain is lightening up, so that's good. Cat! Where are you? Where are you, cat? <laughs> go here together is she still foraging look at her okay so she was foraging in that rock forage oh no not you oh crap i guess you <laughs> how disappointing all emma could find were some broken parts and piece of scrap well maybe it could come um get off your bike no no who is that chat with naomi who's naomi where is she arch is like who the heck are you trying to chat with ah <laughs> naomi she's like zombies zombies over by the cabin oh my god they scared me so bad i was like why are you still here <laughs> like why are you still out here she's terrified do a friendly introduction with the with the it looks like the national forest person what's her name again naomi just be like why are you still out in the wilderness you know that the zombies have been an issue tell unbelievable story she's like oh man he almost bit me she's like don't let them bite you whatever you do stay away from them stay far away from them is that a zombie bear <laughs> hold on a second is that a person or a zombie bear oh no that's a person okay can we put this in our inventory please oh my god he didn't bite you did he because like i don't know if i'm down to be around you if he did where's archer oh he was foraging in that bush what did he find did he find anything he found three mushrooms hey nice okay is she still talking to okay we need to disband with naomi and walk here together maybe get some fish while we're here i mean who said we couldn't look for supplies while we're looking for cat and jupiter you know go ahead and walk there together man i was hoping there was some zombies around i could kill but it looks like naomi oh wait oh no that's just a person oh and he just started running there might be a zombie over here Okay. Oh, God. The bear was running, too. Ah, where are the zombies that you're running for? Oh, there it is. There's one. Okay, hold on a second. Did you actually bite this guy? Is that a zombie, too? You go Villarreal. Okay. Raiden Swift. Here's what's going to happen, Raiden. I'm going to shoot you. Okay. And you're going to die. And you will never eat brains again. That's what's happening. Okay. She's just so used to this lifestyle. <laughs> She's just so used to it. She's like, all right, I got this one. Maybe he is oh my god oh my god oh no i guess she doesn't got this one. Oh my god or just like don't worry about it it's mine um did you lose something don't drop this <laughs> use zombie repellent spray actually yeah go ahead and do that where is emma going emma's just leaving without him emma can you stop walking hold on a second okay he used the zombie repellent so they will hopefully not bite him actually she should go ahead and maybe use the same i know she's got the cure or whatever she might be immune but i don't know 
Does she have any? Zombification cures. Okay, so I think we just have the cures in our system right now. Or not our system, but in our inventory. She's super tired again. Ugh, is there anything in our inventory that'll help with that? I think this is energized beer. <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, that might help with her, um, you know, feeling some type of way. So maybe this will help. So, I mean, it's green. That's, that's a good sign. Archer, why don't you come over here? I don't trust. Oh my God, he was gonna go shoot somebody else. Okay, so there's another zombie out here somewhere. Yeah, someone's running, so. <laughs> they might be running from Archer, though. Wait, 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 wait. I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. Hold on a second. We need to claim this because, wait, does he still have one in his inventory? He does. He has a shotgun. So maybe we could gift this to Anna when we get back. Maybe we could teach Anna uh, how to use a gun sometime soon. Because, you know, eventually one of these days, he's been thinking a lot lately that maybe he would get bit by a zombie, you know? Maybe, maybe one day she'll need to put him out of his misery. What's going on over here? What's going on? Angelo? What does Angelo want and why is he making the Arthur fist? Why does he look evil? <laughs> Wait a minute. Who is Angelo? He's like, Adrian has been spreading the word. Why does everybody keep talking about this guy? Why does everybody keep talking about this guy named Adrian? She's gonna give a rude introduction. Be like, who is this Adrian person? Why are you so mad? I mean, I guess terrified. Wait a minute. Did that help her energy? No, it didn't. What the heck? Oh, she's pissed. He's like, watch your mouth around the guardians of Adrian. The guardians of Adrian? What are you talking about? Go home. Get some shelter. Thank you. Leave me alone. He's going to come catch up with her. Oh, he was trying to choose a zombie too. There is a zombie around here. And the freaking people of Adrian, the protectors of Adrian, whatever, are like all about this person. I don't know. I don't know. It's really weird. All right, he's ready. He's like, are you ready to go? She's like, yeah, I'm so ready to get out of this forest. So we're over here at the beach. Where is this guy going to go? Is he? No, don't take my spot. I wanted to go fishing. Uh, now you're going to go fishing. Oh, wait, are you getting in the water? Dang it. Hold on. This guy can just go away. Just go away. And uh, we're going to go here together. I wish we could swim. That would have been awesome. But um, alas. It is not meant to be. Where does this lead to? Um, so there's another one over here. Oh, okay. Here's the zombies. <gasps> oh, this is the one. This is the one that that lady was talking about. So why don't we go here together? I'm not seeing Cat and Jupiter, y'all. They are just not here. They're not here. I think they've already come to that conclusion too. So we're probably just going to get headed back soon, but definitely could take care of a zombie or two while we are out. Just, you know, just because. Um, oh, she's got another zombie to worry about. So is one coming up to her or what's what's going on here is this the zombie no this is another one okay my god there are more than i thought there were all right i'm gonna need you to uh teleport here and shoot your zombie with your shotgun well, not your zombie, but shoot the zombie with the shotgun. All right, thank you. Go ahead, she's getting closer. Go ahead. Thank you, my goodness. Just waiting till the absolute last second. Lord. What does this say? Protected from the undead from using zombie repellent spray. As long as Archer has this repellent on, zombies are gonna think that he's one of them and will not attack him. Interesting. Zombie hunter from killing a zombie. That shut put the undead in their place underground. Hopefully they won't get back up this time. Anything for me to claim? What's this? Oh, first aid spray. Let's go ahead and grab that. Sucks though, you gotta get like right, right in the zombie. <laughs> Like right up between the legs. Okay, so there's one. Oh, there's two. Unless this is just a normal person. Run away, Hina. Run away, Hina. All right, so I'm gonna have him just run here. And then, oh, what was that? Oh, he was watching her. He's like, good job, Emma. <laughs> it's almost like I taught you how to shoot. Who's this? Is this a zombie? Garden shop owner. Oh, okay. All right, what does he want to do with Emma? Flirt with her. Hell yeah, we can. He also wants to get some sleep. All right, we can do that later. Level up in the gardening skill. We all need to do that we all need to do that wait where'd it go where'd the zombie go y'all oh my god no nah, that's too creepy all right i think we're gonna go back so we need to find it again can we swim dang it why n they need to update this pack they need to update it so we can swim i hate that we just fish and if we're gonna fish i'd rather do it in the safe zone so we need to find our way back uh... where is it Oh, no. I think I might be lost. Oh, they might be lost, guys. Um, y'all. I think I'm lost. 
Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. Okay. We need to walk here together. Can we walk here together? All right. I'll meet you there. <laughs> the worst possible thing you can do is split up, but that's exactly what they're doing. Why are there so many people in this area? Like... This is so unrealistic. There's not supposed to be this many people in the deep woods, but yet still, still can't find Kat. So I guess it's over between us and Kat, y'all. She, she broke up with us. She broke up with the group. Whoa, whoa. Steady your horses there. Steady your horses. Steady your horses. This looks like... Oh my God, what is going on with the zombie? What kind of outfit were you wearing? Were you going to a wedding? <gasps> um, y'all, y'all, I don't have ammo. Y'all, oh my God, where's Archer? <gasps> He's so far away. Is this one too? Oh my God, oh my God. Okay, shit. We need to get past this one and go here. Can we run here? Run here, run here. Hurry, 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 hurry. Emma's like screaming because she can't. Oh my God, Emma! <laughs> I'm here to get you. I'm here to save you. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. All right. All right. All right. Shoot it with the with. <laughs> shoot it with the handgun. I'm running out of ammo, you guys. I'm running out of ammo. I said ammo like with an H. I'm running out of ammo, y'all. This is terrible. I need to find some. Like we need to go and soon because choosing a zombie to shoot, you have no one to shoot. Like I mean, you have nothing to shoot with. Okay, we need to get in here now because I know there was a zombie headed this way emma where are you going no you have no ammo no don't bike don't bike don't bike oh my god i pulled out her bike on accident oops <laughs> all right you guys we'll see you back at the um hideaway <laughs> somehow she rode her bike through <laughs> through the bush thing i guess it goes underground i've never really actually looked but it looks like it goes under this hill and then you get through these trees like the ones in the back here so that's interesting that's sounds like kind of like a, a journey in itself can we please put your bike in your inventory though i didn't realize how low we were on ammo so that's really terrifying they're super tired it's just been an adventure it is five they've been out since like 10 so i'm not gonna have you eat chips ahoy actually can we have gia start making some food this is kind of like her thing she really enjoys making food for the group so let's go ahead and and serve some dinner. She has a lot better of a cooking skill anyways. So we have chickens. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> fish tacos sounds really, really good. Maybe we could just make some fried fish. I mean, I'm sure that somebody went out and got some fish. So he's going to do or she is going to do that. Anna, if you want to take a nap, honey, your room is the treehouse. <laughs> so go ahead and take some rest. Everyone is so tired. I don't understand what it is about today. Maybe it's the rain, you know, and we don't want to like travel in the rain anyways. Like it's just not ever a good idea. It's harder to hear things, you know, if like a zombies sneaking up on you it's it's just harder so let's just have him go in for a nap her too everyone's so tired while she makes this food uh, oh god gia don't break stuff everything is so like precious and valuable you know we have to find these things ourselves go ahead and get you some fried fish i'm sure you're hungry right oh no no you're not never mind set it down set it down you don't need it actually why don't we go ahead and give it to somebody who is hungry uh, unfortunately everyone who's hungry is also very tired whoa what is this oh her birthday's coming up soon oh She's gonna be a teenager. Oh my gosh. She's like almost a teenager. She's almost there, but yeah. Does Gia need anything? She is pretty tired too. So I guess everyone's just gonna take a nap. I, I don't know. I don't know why we're all so flippin' tired, but um, I guess that's just how it's gonna be. She wants to become friends with Archer. She also wants to harvest a plant. See, this is just like up her alley. She loves gardening and cooking and doing all the kind of like domestic work. No, I really, I can't put anything in this refrigerator i can't put it in there how long is it gonna be good for nine hours it says but i know it's just gonna be nine minutes my time have you even gotten to the bed yet my goodness you know what he's gonna walk past it and see the food anyways so we'll just have him go ahead and have some food eat the fried Ooh, trout huh fried trout that sounds good oh no she didn't even make it 
All right. Well, that just means you'll get a little bit of rest <laughs> and then you can have enough. Your wax is technically a form of sweat. Ew. You'll have enough energy to grab a serving. Don't run around. Don't run around. That just exerts more energy. Get inside. I know you're uncomfortably wet anyways. So get on in. It looks like the rain started getting a little harder again. You know, I can temporarily fix it, but what the game wants to do is just what the game is going to do. So girl, you're not getting rained on anymore. You're fine. Okay. So once you're finished, eating take a nap he can take a nap no one's ever had the luxury of naps in this lp so far so like this is this is nice this is just nice it's the rain it's definitely the rain it makes you feel some type of way i know it makes me feel some type of way so i guess maybe it could just be late enough to where i think we're what the hell she waited for him to get upstairs she's like thank god <laughs> Oh my god, Emma! <laughs> Lord, I didn't even give you beans. This usually just happens with beans. The hell was in that fish taco? It might be late enough to where uh, we can just have them sleep through the night and maybe leave in the morning. I don't know. They're tired enough to where they could just sleep throughout the night. So they've decided like while they were traveling back through the tunnel thing that they're going to leave in the morning get everything that they need and we're need we need to go somewhere in the next episode where there will be guns where can i find like a bunch of guns or like ammo you know i need to find somewhere where ammo would be emma will soon have her period really okay it has been thundering for like 30 straight seconds i don't understand oh look how cute wait Whoa, <laughs> whoa, that was cute for a second. What time is it? It's 3, uh, 3.30 a.m. Go ahead and go use the, oh, she need to poop. She need to straight up, go ahead. Go ahead, girl, I won't stop you. Oh, wow, it stopped raining too. The chickadees, Um, do we have any eggs? Yes, after you poop, you can collect your um, eggies. You know, some food, some food Um, for the road because we have a good amount. Oh crap, the fish went bad. That's not good. I just, I couldn't put it in the fridge. It's not my fault. <laughs> It's not my fault, I swear. But oh. oh Shit Honey! Oh my god! Uh, see it started with that, that little poof she had earlier at the dinner table and it just it just went through her, honey. It was that fish. It must have been that fish. I don't What was in that fish taco? My goodness. Yeah, she's desperate to be outside. What a good day. Things could be so much worse. I think she's honestly not that sad that cat's gone. Like she's really not. She she couldn't be bothered. Like she in fact she might be a little relieved. I don't know. It's something about cat just really irks her, you know? So she's like glad that like she doesn't have to be responsible for her and if something happens to her, it's her own fault. It's not Emma's. I'm 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 just gonna be honest with you guys. It's not like the most heroic, you know, thought that she could have, but it's it's a real one. It's real. Maybe we should feed them. I feel bad because we're, what are we just gonna leave these animals? Maybe we could just like set them free or something. Kind of sucks. I wish we could take them with us, but there's nobody to kind of take care of them once we leave. I'm not really sure what to do with that. We're gonna leave in the next episode though. We're not gonna leave in this one. This one was really all about trying to find Cat and the baby, and uh, we need to prepare to go somewhere that will have a little ammo i mean there is some right here but i can't even take it like i physically Ooh, claim maybe that'll work then what kind of ammo is this assault rifle so it would be for it would be for archer to take well damn geo just go to the bathroom then archer is fully rested let's go ahead and claim this if we could please Works, yeah he can't he can't get to it so maybe if i enable it let's see bb dot enable free build okay maybe if we set it on the floor that will make it so i can claim this go ahead with your bad self there we go okay so we have a little bit of something something for when we leave so that will be helpful what does this say urban squatter <laughs> urban squatter from sleeping outside of the household lot freaking sims aren't fussy about where they sleep as long as they aren't paying the rent the location is just fine landlords and security think that squatting on someone else's property is wrong but that's just like their opinion <laughs> What? He is not a squ well, I guess they are kind of squatters, aren't they? But like squatting, squatting is fine. There are no landlords anywhere anymore to make a big deal out of it. So whatever. He's not hungry, is he? Oh, he is. Why don't we go here, have a quick meal? Why don't we get some oatmeal? 
That sounds good. Emma successfully swiped an object without drawing any attention. She got some firewood. Oh, okay. She reached little mischief level two. My goodness. Emma, no one's going to blame you for grabbing some firewood, especially before we leave on a road trip. So we're going to be taking this car. This is Gia's. Um, she arrived to this place in it with her husband. Technically, it was her husband's vehicle, but it's not like any cops are going to stop them on the road. So it looks like it's a two-seater, though. Like a, maybe a three-seater, one in the middle. And we have one, two, three, four peoples. One person's going to have to be in the back with the dog when we leave anyways. Oh, a solar panel got hit by lightning. Honestly, a part of her doesn't want to leave, but she is itching to get on the road as well. So, you know. Um, she's like, you know what? What if Cat comes back and we're just gone? He's like, actually, you kind of have a good point. What if we... See, she's talking about traveling. So she's like, if Cat comes back and we're not here, like, what about Jupiter? You know, she has a baby and I... Oh. Oh my God. Emma's trying to steal his money? What the hell? Emma. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. No. No. Y'all. What the freaking heck was that? Sentiments about Archer. She's hurt. She feels wronged by him. What? She did not do that. She did not do that. No, stop it. Stop, 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 stop. Their relationship just went way down. It keeps going down. Apologize in bed. Apologize in bed. I don't know what just happened there. I don't know why I acted that way. I don't know what happened there. I'm so sorry. Can we just like make up for it in bed? Lemma has learned Archer's woohoo interests. <laughs> Oh my God. Yeah, that's right. That's right. You guys go make up for it. But I don't know what just happened. She's sitting here eating her watermelon like, um, that's none of my business, though. What is Anna doing? School does not start for Anna. Anna does not have school. Oh, look at her. She's having fun on this rocking chair. She doesn't want to go. She's having fun here. She's like, this is safe. I don't have to worry about anything. Everything's good. Impressive person alert. Bask in the glow of someone impressive. Okay, can we not play with the toddler things? <laughs> Do you have any needs? No, she's feeling pretty dang good. Why don't we have her listen to... It depends on what kind of CDs would be at the cottage because there is no radio station. So it'd probably be something cottagey. Yeah, cottage core. Let's go listen to cottage core. And then I also want to keep this down so you guys can hear me too. Change volume low. There we go. It's a little better. Are they done woohooing? Oh my god, dancing is in my bones. Gia seems to be having a good time on the dance floor. Should she gain the likes dancing preference? Sure. They're still they're still doing it. So hopefully this helps their relationship a little bit. Um I I don't know what that was. What was that? That couldn't possibly have been money. In your opinion, why do you think she like went crazy? Could it be like a side effect of having the like zombie virus in her veins and not turning into a zombie? Could she be like getting aggressive? Could that be what it is? Because that was not in her character. And like immediately she wanted to apologize. Like they were just having a normal conversation about cats. And then she just randomly starts attacking him. Like, and I don't think he blames her. I think that he actually thinks something's wrong wrong and he's just like trying to figure out what happened but he was glad to take that apology in bed i'll tell you what boy so why don't you go ahead and change your outfit too we're gonna get ready for the road again on the road again they can't wait to get on the road again uh, let's wear this it's a warm day today and then we're gonna go ahead and leave a map here all right so we left a map for a cat for whenever if she ever gets back here he wants to leave a little something to let her know where they're going so this is is where they're coming from and all of the stops they're planning on making along the way so she could find them at a variety of these stops that are on the way to the cdc we're actually having a good good dang time listening to this radio together that's nuts <laughs> like everyone's here we're ready to go y'all um i'm gonna have gia go ahead and come out here and we're gonna spend some time oh we need to call over the spotted cow. We need to call over, what is her name? Bessie? Betsy? Something? Daisy? I don't know. Go ahead and call her over. I want to set her animals free so they aren't confined to the sheds or, you know, anything anymore. We're going to say goodbye. We're going to socialize and hug her. What's her name? Does she have a name? Just spotted cow. Oh, she never gave her a name. Send spotted cow in. Oh, to the shed. I was like, send her where? Um, why don't we clean her? 
Why can't I trade her? Oh, it can only be done in a home lot. Okay. Let's give her a treat or not. <laughs> I don't have any treats to give you, my bad. I'm sorry. Let's feed her. And I'm not gonna name her now, not this far in, but we could go ahead and milk her for like one last little milk. And then eventually, once she's done with all that, she's gonna go ahead and set her free. Tell her to just, you know, live out her life eating from out here. Don't go anywhere else. Don't go through the forest. Oh, look at the bunny. The bunny's like, oh, what's she doing? So she's, oh geez. She's like, she's so sad because, you know, this animal has been her sustenance all this time. You know, she's been living off of this cow, like legit. She's been getting her milk from this cow. The chickens have been giving her food. You know, this has just been how she's been living. And uh, this poor thing, she doesn't want to like just use it and leave it. You know, I guess we could clean the shed. You know what? She could, she could make this her home. I mean, she'll have to live off the land, but she'll probably just stay in the shed anyways. I don't know. Is there a way I can? Can, like set the chickens free um we can collect some eggs what can i do with this chicken dress her oh my gosh i can't trade them in either so i'm just gonna <laughs> hopefully y'all survive <laughs> i'm just gonna leave your ass i don't know she feels so bad so she's just gonna feed them all one last time and they're just gonna have to live off off the land they they're just like i like i've been saying they're gonna have to just go ahead and live <laughs> the way that they were meant to live all right so we'll scatter some food nearby after we get um some eggs she feels terrible like she just doesn't want to leave them they're like family to her and it feels really terrible abandoning animals <laughs> it really does but uh we, we've got to go everyone's kind of just like waiting for her at the car too oh she's like i'm so sorry about what happened he honestly Honestly, I, I think he knows this has to be some kind of reaction she's been having. What? Emma successfully swiped. She took the flamingo. She's like, I'm taking the damn flamingo. I don't even care. He's like, that was hot. <laughs> like, look at you. That was that was sexy. He's like, I know. <gasps> He's talking about. I think he just said he loves her. I think he just said he loves her. Oh my God. In fact, oh my God. Talk about marriage. Jesus. Honestly, I feel like what she did didn't even hurt the relationship like in the long run at all because he still loves the crap out of her. I love you. Go ahead and tell her. Just tell her. I love you and nothing you did, nothing you did earlier changes that, you know? And I told you to change, sir. <gasps> oh my God. She's like, you love me she doesn't know how to take that i feel like i'm not trying to force this because this was so they've loved each other for so long why is she rejecting that she's like oh i mean i i like you a lot awkward encounter oh where can i hide this was an awkward conversation he's like oh okay well that's fine i guess wow and he was like waiting so long to like figure out his feelings for her because he had an ex-wife and everything and she's just something is going on with her today in love what okay y'all this woman doesn't know what she wants she is in love she does love him why can't she admit it in love i can't describe how i feel when i'm with this sim so you're gonna tell me he says he loves you for the first time and you're gonna tell him that oh i really like you but you do love him what is happening right now <laughs> Why can't you just be honest with yourself and with Archer? You know you care about him. You know you love him. Stop it. Like, are you scared of what's going to happen if you, like, lose him or something? I feel like that's what this is. Can you at least be fucking friendly and just be nice to him? Complain about liars like you aren't a liar your dang self. Enthuse about details. She's going to go right into the map and be like, okay, so where are we stopping next, Archer? Like, she's just changing the whole subject. Poor Coda is so dirty, but they're going to regret not washing him later when they're sharing a car with him she's like okay so i have an idea of where we can go i don't personally know that idea yet we need to go somewhere first and foremost with some ammo in it so i'm thinking like some kind of redneck store <laughs> like where like a walmart an abandoned walmart that's where we're gonna go can you not we don't need to go up in this sleeping bag we need to get ready to go so you guys we are gonna leave now and go to a store in the next episode what in the world is going on with this episode okay we have cat leaving with jupiter we have archer finally opening up to emma and telling her that he loves her yet she can't say it back even though she knows that she loves him back and we have her acting a damn fool fighting him
him for no reason. I really feel like something in her blood, something in her blood and, and, and the reason that she is immune to these zombie bites has something to do with her sudden aggression. Like maybe she needs some medical care like now. What happens to her? Like she's been bit. Does she eventually turn into a zombie? Like what is going on with her? I want to know what you guys think in the comments down below. Please let me know. I really, really appreciate it because this, this episode has left me just like jaw dropped. I just don't know how to respond to this. Anyways, y'all, thank you all so much for watching. Please let me know what you think once again in the comments down below. And I will see you all in my very next video. Bye, loves. Mwah.